Great Sunday morning, the last one before Christmas. To God be the glory, 12, 20, 20, 20. Oh, that's a lot of 20s. And we would have gone over Psalms 50 today. And just like we see the beautiful, wow, strong sunshine. It says, out of Zion, the perfection of beauty, God hath shined. That's in verse 2 of Psalms 50. For the scripture right before that is the mighty God, even the Lord hath spoken and called the earth from the rising of the sun unto the going down of the same. Yes, we know that his name is to be praised. We know that he is worthy of all worship, not only on Sundays, not only the last one before Christmas, but throughout the year, all of them. Ah, that reminds me of a song. For unto us a son is born his name, wonderful counselor his name, mighty God, prince of peace his name, everlasting counselor. For unto us our king is here, glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill to men, women, boys, and girls. He is here. The son is here. Here. Our king is here throughout the year. So we have something to worship the Lord and praise him about. And that should be on YouTube. That's a song that the Lord gave me over 10 years ago when my son was probably five, 14 years ago. But a friend reminded me of that song yesterday. And I thank the Lord that he was with me. Father God, giving me songs through the night seasons, not only chronologically in the nighttime, but in the low seasons, in the dark seasons. Maybe you're going through a dark season today. Maybe you're a single parent. Maybe your family is not with you, your support system, or what you thought would be is not. And Hagar found herself in that situation. Remember, she was the bond servant, the slave woman, and she was put up to have relations with Abraham. This was Sarah's servant. And she said, you know, go sleep with him and perhaps there will be a, somewhat of an heir. And she got pregnant and she had Ishmael. And then Sarai and Hagar fell apart, fell out. And in this chapter, it pretty much says, you know, Sarah, like, get rid of her. And so Abraham sent her on her way. And this is actually Genesis 21. And he sent her with some bread and a bottle of water in verse 14 and putting it on her shoulder and the child. And he sent her away and she departed and wandered in the wilderness of Beersheba. And the water was spent. They used all of it. And she cast a child under one of the shrubs. She's like, I can't watch my son die. Hmm? And verse 17, And God heard the voice of the lad, and the angel of God called to Hagar out of heaven and said, What aileth thee, Hagar? Fear not, for God hath heard the voice of the lad where he is. God hath heard you. He is listening to you right now. He sees what you're going through, that difficult situation. Arise, verse 18. Lift up the lad. Lift up whatever you have. Lift up whatever tool, whatever mechanism God has given you and hold him in thine hand for I will make him a great nation. God is going to do something great in the situation that you're in. Hmm? In verse 19, and God opened her eyes. She realized and she saw a well of water, resources, and she went and filled the bottle with water. Just like we were talking about the widow filling the bottles with oil. God will give you the, boy, the bottles, the vessels, the resources, the water, everything, the oil, and gave the lad something to drink. And God was, this is what we want for every one of our children. If you're doing it alone or with someone else. This is the whole point. This is our desire. In verse 20, God was with that lad. God will be with your child. And the child grew, just like Jesus grew in wisdom, stature, and favor with man. 
Well, uh, Ishmael grew and he dwelt in the wilderness. We might not want our children to dwell in the wilderness, you know, get maybe a condo or, you know, a house one day. And he became an archer. And after that, he was ready for a family. And then Hagar looked for a wife for him. And hey, and it duplicated. This is the building of families. It might not be the ideal family. Maybe it might be one parent. It might be one child, whatever. God will be with you. He will speak to you. He will be in the midst in that situation. But what we are to do is worship him, praise him, trust him, and know all resources will be there as we look to him. Have a wonderful Sunday of worship, knowing that he is here throughout the year. Good day.